Hey, welcome back to another video. So I have this 2000 Honda Accord. It's an automatic transmission four cylinder um, model. And it currently has 262,000 miles on it. Uh, I recently replaced this transmission, um, but I'm gonna go through the steps of, of what I actually did and um, answer a few questions you may have. So I've had this Accord for quite some time now, back at about 230,000 miles, the original transmission uh, failed on it. It started flashing the D4 light, throwing the check engine code, and it would just shift very, very poorly. Uh, so I reached out to some some guy on Craigslist. He, he does part outs, and uh, he got me a transmission. A, a, supposedly it had 140,000 miles, but I don't think it did. Um, I put that transmission in. It uh, ran well up until about a um, 1,000 miles ago. That's when I replaced it again. And uh, the problem it was having this time was on the 1-2 shift, it would uh, flare up and I just didn't want to wait for it to die so I went ahead and replaced it but um, if you know about these cars you know the V6 automatic transmission is terrible and the four cylinder trans uh, the four cylinder automatic transmission is not very good either uh, from what I've from what I've read the the previous generation Accord the 94 to 97 the uh, there were some complaints on the firmness of the shift so the Honda engineers uh, program the shifts to be smoother, but what happens when they're smoother? They, you know, the the shift takes a little bit longer, and that causes a little bit extra heat and a little bit a little bit extra wear, and the the clutch packs are not happy with that. So that's why these transmissions give out typically anywhere from like 150,000 to 250,000 miles, kind of a crapshoot um, on on when, but uh, these are not a very robust, reliable transmission, but at least they're not as bad as the uh, the V6 automatic transmissions. Uh, but anyways, I went ahead this time and I got a transmission from a JDM importer. They import uh, transmissions and engines and whatnot from Japan, and I picked this one up out of Arizona for about three hundred forty dollars um, out the door. That's the pickup price on their website. They list it for five hundred fifty dollars shipped. So if you live nearby, it would be beneficial if you just drove over there and picked it up. Um, so picked it up, and from what I've been reading, they uh, everyone on the forum says you have to swap all of your sensors over for it to work. Otherwise, I guess it just doesn't work. But I didn't do that. I replaced only a few of the sensors that were damaged on my unit, and it runs um, as good as I can hope. So here's what we have. Uh, you can kind of see where the engine and the transmission meet. The transmission is a little bit cleaner, um, kind of like proof that it's been done, um, just so you know I'm not, not messing around with you. But I left this solenoid. I left the two individual ones down here. And I really only replaced the, uh, the big six bolt one on the front and a couple of the sensors on the on the side uh, let's... so that that six bolt one down there I replaced and then there's two sensors I believe uh, I don't uh, the speed sensor or a teeth counter sensor whatever you call it but there's two of those I replaced both of those but I left all the pressure switches and I left um, this solenoid and that lower solenoid down there, and it seems to work just fine. So if your transmission is going out on your 98 to 2002 Accord four-cylinder model, it may be worth looking into getting a JDM transmission as a replacement. Uh, if you get one locally, um, you know, either from the self-serve junkyard, uh, which you have no idea the history of, or a uh, someone that parts out vehicles like they buy them at auction and they part them out uh, you know they have the mileage on them but they they have no idea how well it was taken care of how hard it was driven um, and so on uh, JDM transmissions are a decent alternative uh, you know all the importers say yeah our engines and transmissions have 40 to 50,000 miles and while it may not be that low 
they do have lower miles. Um, Japan just as a whole is a lot smaller. Everything is a lot more um, closely packed together so people don't have to drive their car you know 25 miles to work one way. Uh, so yeah there is a grain of truth that imported engines and transmissions do have lower miles but just take it with a grain of salt. Uh, they just love to say they're all of their imports have uh, 40 to 50,000 miles. Uh, so far, the transmission's holding up pretty well. Uh, only time will tell. I'll keep up on fluid changes and um, just baby it and uh, see how long it'll get me. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this um, helped a few people. I know uh, I would I would have liked a, a definite answer to the, the solenoid issue when I was looking in um, looking into getting a JDM transmission. So hopefully I answered that question there for you. Um, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, give it a sub if you'd like. Um, please like the video, share it to your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.